you imagine we have the officers on top there working for the head school. Um, we have another officer down here that we can start to control the lower hemisphere, okay? If there's two moves that I'm gonna show you and it depends on the feed that the bad guy's giving me, all right? Is either his legs can be loose where he allows me to manipulate them or he can stiffen them where I will attempt a different move. So this first one is we're gonna be versus I get here and I have a pin here to stop him from moving but his legs are loose, he's not straight at the knees, at the joint. So if he's allowing me to bend his legs, this is the first one that I'm going to go This is a submission that you're going to see again, but we're just using it on a foot and we're putting pressure to the ankle joint. Let's first talk about what we're doing. All right, pin the legs. Lock in a figure four. Lift the leg, sit on the foot. Pinky finger to pinky toe. Okay. Go around the ankle, grab your own wrist. Pull the foot into your body, push your chest, Turn the foot towards the head. Yeah. Yeah. Lift the leg, put here in a figure four, lift it up here, come and sit on the foot. Let your body weight sit back. Pinky finger to pinky toe, bring the leg here to your body, go around the ankle, grab your own wrist, your own wrist body. You're gonna pull it towards here, you're gonna push your chest to close the space. Now, with my with my hands and my body, is I'm just going to turn the foot and my body towards the attack. Okay, instant pressure on that ankle lock. All right, so now let's put all of this together and what I should be doing here is three application. Okay, all right, if he allows me to bend it, I move it on up here, I come sit here, and then I get the hole. Pinky finger to pinky toe, wrap around the killing the tendon, and I get here and I bring it into my body and push it up. I start giving him verbal command. Put your hands up, put your hands up, put your hands up. And he's saying, fuck you. All right, tell me, fuck you, fuck you. No, I don't do that. No, no. All right, so it's <laughs> If he gives me this, I don't apply pressure. This is good control hold, but if he's not, then I start slow, steady pressure. Put your hands up, put your hands up. All right, he's tapping for me to show that he releases pain. Now, let me show you what the most common mistake is. Okay, if when I move the, the leg up here and I come up here, is I don't sit here. Okay, I want to put my weight on here. Some people will put one up on Just No, just put the foot here between both of your legs and sit backwards. Okay? I want to go pinky hand to pinky toe. My palm facing away. Common mistake is people will try to pull it in this way. My palm facing away. The most common mistake with this lock is when I reach around and I grab my own wrist. Just come on over here. But you'll see me do a superficial grip like this. Okay. I'm not going to get the pressure here if I'm just grabbing here with my finger. Because I want to make my arm deep so I go around here and I grab my own wrist. And I sit back and I, and I squeeze like this. The most common mistake is that people will try and move the foot and not their body. What do I mean? Am I becoming stronger or weaker? Weaker. Okay, I can get it, but why? Look at how far. See, see how far I have to take it? But when I keep it glued to my body and I push my chest in, and I'm squeezing, bringing my own elbows to my core. I can probably tap them without moving. See how I brought my arms into my core to make myself stronger? I'm putting pressure to his ankle right now, see? I didn't even have to turn, all right? But to add a little bit more, boom, I just turn. Okay, so without a training practice. I got the legs. Just one leg up, put it in the pit of the knee here. All right, lift the leg up, move up, sit down. Pinky finger to pinky toe, reach around the arm deep, grab your own wrist. Pull the leg back in you, pushing your chest. Now turn, 